As always, this episode of the 1878 FM podcast is sponsored by Green King Sport, where football is more than a game. The league is entering the business end and Green King Sport venues are showing every single televised Everton fixture over the running. With more than 900 sports pubs across the UK, it doesn't matter where you're based, you can catch every single minute of the action. Football's best enjoyed with your mates, so if you're not at the ground this month, get a text in a group chat and head to your local Green King Sport venue to catch the game. Don't forget to download the Green King Sports app to enjoy exclusive competitions and discounts whenever there's a game. Hello, welcome to the 1878 FM podcast. It is episode 31. We are vitiless. Mm. All that stuff has a has taken over. Oh, that's, that's okay. Taken over that's Dave. okay. But we have got Big Sam with us, which is not Big Sam no. for people who've been listening. We haven't gone and got Allardyce in to tell us why he still should have been Evans manager. We have, of course, got tremendous comedian Sam Avery with us. Sam, how are you? I'm all right, but I like the concept of being like the Big Sam of podcasts, where mm. if a podcast is ailing, then you just pull me in for a couple of episodes. <laughs> and, and... <laughs> to rescue it. <laughs> to bring the ad, the ad revenue back yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. It's six, six not to, that this is alien, and no, not that I'm capable but you've of got doing s- that either. You've got six to eight podcasts to save the to, podcast. To save it. That's, 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 <laughs> that's, never knowingly fail the podcast. That's but what do it you is have to on bring, his like, record. Who would, who, would, who would you bring in as your version of Sammy Lee? Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know. It'd have to be uh, someone who's got full beans and mm. jumping down to me while I mm. stand there looking... Mm. Pensive. Would yeah. you be? Would it be someone like related to you? Because I've noticed, like, um, you know, people are often bringing in family members these days ah, they... to uh, to help to help out. You know, they've got a big gig. What's the what? I always forget his name. Thingo off the chase. Bradley Walsh. Bradley Walsh. Bring got his son. son. Gets his son on everything. Yeah. He's got him on the gladiators. And then the weirdest thing happened the other week. I was watching Casualty. And Bradley Walsh. And Bradley and his Walsh's son was in it. No, was he's in it. He's been in it for oh, ages. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, but you know, you watch one program and you see me, you see him standing next to his dad, so you're like, well, that's his son. Ne- you see him next to someone with, like, half a leg, and it was like the Superman taking the glasses off effect. It was like, what? Mm-hmm. It was was like, he good, though, at what he was doing? What? Cutting someone's leg? Yeah. I mean, as an actor cutting someone's leg, he, he did an all Was right he job. believable? Well, I mean, I don't know, because I haven't stood next to any real people cutting anyone's mm. leg open. Yeah. So that would yeah. that would have to be. I mean, acting's great. No, when mm. you go, oh, I'm acting to you know, you know, like Schwarzenegger's, like you go, ah, oh, what an amazing job he did, like saving the world from from those robots taking over in t- Terminator Two. Mm. I've not seen that in real life, so I don't know if yeah, I can compare it. Mm. So it'd be the same with like an operation. They can go, oh yeah, look, I'm just I'm just massaging the heart and all that. Mm. I've never seen that in real life. That could be bollocks. What's a bollocks? Yeah, but if you believe it at the time, then he's yeah, done a well, decent he's done job. A good job. So fair play. So, so you must be an all-right like casualty that. and casualty and the bill are two shows that I think I think most of us have been on, whether we're aware of it or not, because yeah. like everyone's been. And I think the bill you just have to turn up and they just let yeah. you go. Yeah, it yeah. just seemed to be like it was great little, you know, melting pot for everyone to just mm. get a little bit of uh, get their equity card and all of that. Yeah. yeah. Well, your version of that Sam, and I think this will be coming soon. You'll be on like you'll be on the weakest link soon, won't you? Or or you'll be on. Um... Oh, I hope so. Oh, absolutely. Probably bucket list. Oh, that. absolutely. When I in comedy, it was like one day I want to be number what? six on the weakest link. No, on the weakest mm. link, where they get you to introduce yourself, and some people find it very, very difficult just to introduce them. How would you introduce yourself, Sam, to the weakest link? Uh, I'd say my name's Sam, and it's been a childhood dream to be here. So whatever happens today, I can I can put a pin in it. Smashed it. Good way. Good, way. Yeah. good introduction with no yeah, preparation. Yeah. That was good. Some people find it really difficult just to introduce themselves. Mm. They go, I am Peter and bl- uh, 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 uh. Mm. So the fair play. That's that happens. Pressure gets to them. The pressure gets to them. They do say there ain't no pressure, like a weakest weakest link. The weakest pressures. link. Intro pressure. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Listen, that is up there. That is up there. Can you tell Everton I haven't played? You can this tell we're all My smiling. God. Well, Everton didn't. We'll come back to football. Everton didn't play, but you did run a half marathon, yeah. and you've you've turned up brighter than fresh as a daisy. Path, and of course. You, you just you you look. I asked you were you stiff. You said no. 
and that's all good. So well, how did you find it? Well, I was going to say my biggest issue this weekend has been getting my new contact lenses in because mm. I've just become a. I've just adopted the contact lens, yeah. um, and that's been like. How does it feel? And is it yeah, the fine it, when they're in? But yeah. Cut, my right eye sound, it goes straight in. Yeah. That's the eye I control. But let me left eye, I've got no control of. No, like the blink. No, when you blink. The you blink. eye I control. Can you blink with two eyes? Can I, I can't do that. I can't blink with my left eye. You can't wink with your left no, eye. No, I've got no control oh, of my left right, eye. Why? So, do we know why? Well, how do I know? I'm just asking you. you know, Oh, kid? it's all right. Who, hang on, who am I, Christy Brown? It's all right, isn't it? When it's, it's the, co- when, the kids there. when the colour blind jokes in the room, isn't it? Hey, when the colour blind jokes in the room, Sam, you and Ned you weigh in. Have got control of both of your eyes? I've got control of both my eyebrows. Sorry, my eyes, but my eyebrows, that's a different thing. I can, because when I the rock is doing his people's eyebrows, oh, I, could yeah. that, I, couldn't, I can't do the other side. You, I mean, but that I've would tried contact lenses once, yeah. and I couldn't, because I'm, I'm a big glasses wearer, I've just worn glasses for years, yeah. and mm. he said, don't come and strike contact lenses out, but they don't like to leave the, the opticians until you yeah. put them in and take Absolutely. them out to me yeah, three times. Too. Yeah. And I sat in this room for about an hour and a half and I, I, I struggled to get them in. I finally got them in and I couldn't get them out. And at one point, yeah. the woman trying to help me, she said, your eyes are shut, mate. Your eyes are shut. And I'm trying to bend <laughs> my finger on my eyelids. I was like, I know, but I'm just... It is not for me. It is a daunting experience, isn't it? I mean, I, I experienced yeah. this last week. It is daunting. You're going... Yeah. Yeah. And, and my missus went a couple of weeks ago to hers and they made her do this on the shop floor, by the way, because mm. it was a small shop. But luckily, the one I went to, there was an upstairs... But it's a pressure mm. because you're like, you just your eye suddenly is like popping out your head like the one like Ren and Stimpy. Remember that when they like, oh. and you you try in all different ways and they're like you did, but you put your hand over and then you get one finger and you and, and you you're yeah. like contortionist. Oh. And um, I only it's one of those skills that I believe you could do better when you were dr- not when you're drunk and you can literally do anything. You can just master. And it was just so difficult. 10,000 hours, you'll be fine. So, no, I just watched a couple of YouTube videos, went back the following week, and um, I did it quite quickly. But I'm, I am struggling a little bit because I can I'm, I can stop myself on my right eye from blinking, but I can't, can't stop myself on my left. I've just got no control on my left eye. So it's uh, it's been a new experience, but it's good. I mean, did you have to go in and did you do that puff traversing your yeah, eye? Oh, I hate well, that. Well, that's just that. It doesn't hurt, but I hate that. I can't. I think I'm not going to jump, and then he do it, and I'm like, oh, right out my seat. I'm like, yeah. stop it. It's a little bit of it, and you're waiting for it to tension like that fella. You know, you see the the meme of the one who's yeah. danger in his head. Don't don't blink, and then it comes again. Flicking. Then there's balloons down a bleeding highway. You know. All sorts no, of tests. Uh, no, but... And the one where you'd have to do your peripheral vision, so you'd have to, you'd have your head wrestling and lights will flash up and then you th- after a bit you think, was that one? Man, I'll do that. Was that one? It's horrible. Yeah. No, it was good. There There's all these studies done about the human brain now and, and I think the the sort of waiting for something bad to happen is worse than the actual thing that happens. Mm. We all know that through following everything, don't yeah. we? Yeah, absolutely. The waiting and the, the unknown. Waiting. Mm. So, like when you're waiting for that gust of air, the gust of yeah. air, it's, like, it's not, and is it? It's like no. it's breathing on you. Yeah. You're waiting and then you're tensing and then it just becomes like bigger than what it actually is. Yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. You just built this up more horrible. than I, I, I've, I've had, <laughs> had this conversation before. I've gone for an eye test. I'd be shitting It myself. doesn't hurt. No, it's no. just horrible because you're thinking there's a pop of air in my eye now and you're trying to keep some your eyes like, open. Some of the things you have on your eye test, you're thinking, what, what the hell are you looking for here? Yeah. It's like, there's like, I have the photo, so we've done that behind you. Well, I've got to have no, it because my mum had glaucoma, so I have to have one every two years, and I, in fact, I've just had no, I, I had it and it was fine, but the, yeah. um, no, I, I just I just fancied having contact lenses because mm. I do, I have struggled with me. Anyone who's coming in the studio knows I have struggled with like looking at some of the graphics and stuff, so I uh, just wanted to get some. And when I'm playing like when I'm playing computer games as well, it's like the. It's yeah. It's just weird. Not clear. It's not a. It's it's things that obviously aren't in the difference because the distance because they're mm. in the same place on your telly. Yeah. But the, yeah, they get a little bit of fuzz so around. Have you got it? Are you like back in three D now? Is everything clear for I you? I Think so. But you know when you no know, no when you think I no, think but, so. No, but you know when you're like, was there ever really an issue? Because <laughs> sometimes I don't know. What to, are these just clear yeah, bits? I'm of, like, like, is this just a? Um, is this a placebo? Mm. Am I actually? Are these actually having me off? Yeah. Have these given me just like I don't know, I'm jelly like babies? Conspiracy. Yeah, that's it. It's uh, up there with you know, Ted, if you, you don't on. really notice that if you don't perhaps notice the benefit, I was really, really bad. I had poor yeah. sight until I finally got glasses, and I was driving up and down, driving up and down the country. I just started doing stand up. I was driving everywhere. It was before 
I've got, I was I was remember the AA road uh, route planner. I'd, mm. I'd type in what was going on and then I'd print off all the sheets. And I was driving, looking at, trying to look at the sheets. And it was just, t- and with terrible eyesight. So when I finally mm. got glasses, and I don't you know if you realised it's a bed sheet. I put, I, put, I put my glasses on. I looked in the mirror for the first time and I just thought, oh my God, I have aged terribly. Because I hadn't seen myself in focus for about 15 years. And I was like, it's a lot of middle the part. Gone. Yeah. Is gone. <laughs> no one told me. <laughs> no, so that was uh, yeah. So that was that was one. That was that was yeah. That was my biggest thing. And then the marathon, the mar- uh, the half marathon. Sorry, it was uh, it was all right. The yeah. only thing I was worried about was like it wasn't even like the running. It was the more like um, the get get the getting up was always going to be an issue. Yeah, because because uh, because it started at nine. But I think I was awake for I think I was awake a quarter six. Yeah, you will start anticipation. Um, and also I was just a bit worried about like. The, the 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 bathroom trip situation. Oh, yeah. You don't want to oh. get into that situation where you're halfway through and you suddenly need you know to call the nature and mm. not ex- effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and I was and and that was playing on my mind, but mm. uh, I was all right and and so it sucked your mind off the run and got through it and and then straight over to John Lewis and uh, for what <laughs> redecoration. There you um, go. Fair play. And uh, yeah, and and yeah, it was, it was all right. It was all right. It was it was. Sam's just got that. Yeah, yeah. He's just got that. <laughs> uh, uh, um, yeah, it was all right. It was. Oh, and again, uh, two two hours thirteen minutes. Good. Time. So it wasn't it wasn't yeah, bad at cool. all. It wasn't bad. And and yeah, the worst thing was again the sun came out. I was cursing the sun running down the prom, and the sun came out. Like, what are you Lovely. doing? Um. Yeah, oh, it was cool. Boston. Seven thousand people there, and it, yeah, brilliant events. Uh, seen loads of people, loads of people cheering me, sh- shouting, "Hey, you, you no bad." Um, nice. <laughs> I don't think they were really. <laughs> to me, they were. Yeah. Um, no, it's good. Get the it's... officials these days, can you? Mm. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, it's mad. The officials. <laughs> I was just on the start line. Yeah. That <laughs> no, was a good. I was did good a half to... marathon about twenty years ago. And I was, I was obviously a lot when you younger. were seven. Yeah, I was when I was seven years old, and they mm. said I was the youngest person to ever come to half marathon. <laughs> but I went, I went to Ibiza the week before on like a mad in your twenties Ibiza holiday with all that you would expect that to contain. Yeah, Came all back, the trains. This is the beauty of being in your twenties. Yeah. Didn't train. Had a skin full of ale the night before. No. Sunday morning, the starting point was back to Sefton Park. So, mate, I jumped, I lived in town as a student. I jumped in a cab, got down to Sefton Park, got out at the wrong bit of Sefton Park. Someone said, Oh, no, it's the other side. So, I oh. sprinted through the park just to get to the start line. <laughs> as you do. <laughs> Still did all right at the end because yeah. it's just it's a different world, isn't it? Yeah. In your 20s, it's like a different country. That's a, uh, yeah, that jog just across Sefton Park would kill most people now, never mind. Uh, yeah. In, 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 once they get to a certain age, but. That was good. Great events and really? loads of people, as I said, th- loads of people in town. And again, being in town on St. Patrick's Day, by the way, is a, it's just a very unique experience. Mm. Very, very unique experience. Probably like being in Dublin on St. George's Day, yeah. I imagine. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, all the Irish I, wouldn't celebrating. I don't think they said quite celebrate. No. Uh, again, one of the mysteries of the world. I but don't think it's a mystery. Alcohol it is for me. Just alcohol, yeah. innit? Yeah. Fair play to them. But fair play. Um, all right, well, let's quickly touch on football. And then we can get away from it again. Obviously, Everton didn't play this weekend, which is why we are full of the joys, mm. light-heartedness. But, Sam, there was two very big games at the weekend. And I would suggest that both went Everton's way. He, you know, Burnley beat Brentford. And even though Burnley are second bottom, I can't see them winning much more than two other games this season. And giving Brentford a very close to Everton, I would suggest that if any team was going to win, that was that was the one that we didn't mind happening. Yeah, I agree. I think Burnley, Sheffield United, just have looked so unbelievably poor, and, mm. and they're still, even with that win, Burnley are still so far behind. Aren't they? Yeah. So, to actually drag Brentford back into it, mm. it felt really good. And just when Everton are playing, it, it's we've. We've talked loads about it's horrible how Everton's form over the past certainly three years means mm. that you're kind of constantly looking at other teams' results, not out yeah. of curiosity, but out of 
like necessity, which is yeah. horrible. But when we weren't playing, I was just watching that game. I was thinking, well, if Burnley lose, that kind of cements them down at the bottom. But if yeah. they, I, I did actually want Burnley to beat Brentford, because I, I, it's funny, isn't it? You look at the table, and I look at the table a lot at the moment, as we all do. <laughs> but all of a sudden, it, it, Brentford have just been sucked right into it, haven't mm-hmm. they? Really, really yeah. sucked down into it. And that defeat was was a terrible result for them. Mm. And those, you know, the couple of games that we've had recently where we've just, we probably should have got more points than we did from each game, like the West Ham game, the yeah. Brighton game, at, at just a couple of points swing in our favour, those two games, we, we'd be above Brentford now and we'd be looking mm. down Brentford, down on Notts Forest. So that was a really, really uh, good result. But it's also just the momentum that, that Brentford have got, which is, it's all going in the wrong direction for them, isn't it? And as we've seen, teams just kind of can just start going down into the quicksand at the bottom of the league. So as much as we're kind of, you know, we haven't, we haven't put a run of results together and we haven't won in about 12 games, I think it is. Mm-hmm. At least we've got a few draws in there, I suppose, if you're trying mm-hmm. to pluck at like positives. At least it's been, we've been collecting the odd points here and there. Um, but as Brentford just seems to be in free fall. Pad, I mean, you know, their next game... Is three weeks' time against Manchester United at home. So Probably. we'll see how they go. But I mean, if Everton, and it, we've said it all season, without the six points deduction, Brentford will be in massive trouble. They're a point ahead of Everton. Everton have got a game in hand, albeit it's the derby. So hey ho. They're one of only three teams, along with Everton and Luton, who have uh, no wins in the last five games. And they've lost four of the five, Brentford. And Ivan Tony coming back. It's, it gave them a bump mm. immediately, which got them six points, beating, I think it was Forrest at home and winning at yeah. Wolves. But since then, they've dropped right off and again at the weekend. Even though I've got to say, why was Reggie on sent off? I thought that I thought that had gone. The, if it's a penalty, mm. it's not a red card. You know, we're nine minutes into a Premier League game, it's a ball over the top. It's a penalty. I mean, how the referee and Langeon didn't give the penalty in the first place is bizarre to say the least. Mm. Very much like the penalty Everton got the other week against yeah. uh, West, West Ham, West Ham yeah. which was the most blatant penalty you'll ever see. But we give Burnley the penalty and sent Reggie on off. And I, I thought that was incredibly harsh to send them off. Yeah, they're supposed to be supposed to be um, you know, double jeopardy, isn't it? Or no double jeopardy, whichever way you look at it. Um, mm. No, no, strange one. Strange one if you're making an attempt. It's supposed, you're supposed to get the benefit of the doubt. Mm. Um, a book and by all means, yeah, yeah. but not a pen, not a no. for me. But. So very, very strange. But um, I mean, David Fafana missed the miss of the season in the first half as well. Middle of the goal, no goalkeeper, a yard out and put it wide. But he did make up for it in the second half. But That's were nice. you in the same... Nice doesn't pay for, pay for us. Yeah, exactly. Were you in the same boat, both me and Sam? was like, if anyone was going to win, then it was bare. It yeah, I'd probably, we'd probably prefer a draw, but just yeah. the way it is. But now, <laughs> listen, if Burnley catch Everton, then Everton deserve anything to get. Hmm. Um, simple as that. So, yeah, you want you if Everton get above Brentford, um, then then obviously that's another team hmm. down there. Um, it it's I don't know whether we expected too much of Brentford this season or people just thought he'd be all right. Because, but obviously, Ivan Tony being out and he's as I said, he's not really sparked. I wouldn't have. Not that I'm particularly bothered, but I, I don't think he deserves to be in the England squad. I think Dominic Solanke believe deserves yeah, to be in there ahead of him. Yeah. Um but it'll be they obviously they need they need three wins. Mm. Like, you know, and 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 look where they are, they're a they're a point above above us. So it's funny how you look at it sometimes and you look at someone like Brentford and everyone will go, Ah, they'll be all right. And then you look at Everton and people go, Oh, they're in trouble or mm. it's funny how we how we look at things and um from the different perspectives. But well, they've lost seventeen of their twenty nine games yeah. and they've only won seven, where Everton have won eight of twenty eight well, and only lost. Yeah, 13. but we we should have more points, shouldn't we? I mean yeah. that's that's obvious. But no, it's it's it is interesting. They're not they're not uh, they've had you know, they've I think they've got a few players now who are out for the same Ben Mees out for the rest of the season. Mm. And they have had injuries all season, but that and obviously to... has. Uh, Ray Young will be suspended now, only yeah. as well. I mean, that happens to everyone, but but it is but good result for Burnley mm-hmm. and um, with the other game going. Yeah, so Luton Forest. Like, but, yeah. I mean, I watched most of this. Um, I went out and Ross Barkley again was tremendous. Uh, I went out and thinking Forest are going to ride this out mm. but uh, we almost seen an unbelievable goal from Murillo's free kick in his own half which keep him made a good save but Luton end up getting a late equaliser and 
for an Everton perspective, that was a, that was a good result, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's funny, isn't it? Because of on Wednesday, Luton had kept oh, held on. You'd have been desperate for a Luton win. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's yeah. the way it's going at the moment. So yeah, draws best for everyone. Keeps both teams below us. Forest, we're we're wait, still waiting as the time of recording. Still mm. waiting for the the points deduction for them and or whatever or whatever's going to happen with them. And um, but if teams aren't winning, then that's the that that, that can only be a good thing for us. Sam, a draw, good result for you in that in that instance. Yeah, I think so. I think I was when Forrest were winning. I, I, I probably would have watched that game, but it just because Everton weren't playing. Me and my mm. missus would put on loads of accumulator bets like we used to do years ago before the kids <laughs> were born, and we'd roll back the years, fish finger butties. Oh my god! Sky Sports Saturday. It was oh, wonderful times. And Everton weren't playing, so whatever happened, it didn't really matter. And <laughs> that was the other game where I was thinking. I just go with it because I don't want it to ruin me day. So Forest were winning, and I'm like, okay, well that that means Luton are gonna, you know, miss out on points and mm. then the equalise at the end. I thought, well, the draws probably a kind of a good result for us, really, because mm. doesn't do them either favours. We haven't spoke since that uh, Luton Bournemouth game mm, midweek, no. which was because I was joking to me, Mrs. I might watch Luton Bournemouth because it's a really big game for us, mm. and I was joking, semi joking, and then I saw it was three 0 at half time. And I thought, oh, I'm glad I'm not watching that. And then I checked the score right at the end, and obviously it was 4-3. It was just like an absolute barnstormer of a game. Mm. But I think Luton have got that real... They're, they're really fragile, aren't they? They're really fragile at the back, and they just they, they can fall apart at any moment. What they have got in the favour, they've got that kind of tenacity, haven't they? Where mm. they, they mm. seem to be scoring quite a lot of late goals. I mean, they got one of Goodison, didn't they, in the, in the cup? Mm. But um, <clears throat> you know, a, not, a, not a bad result for Luton. Probably a bad result for Forrest, the way it went. And probably... In, in broad terms, a good result for Everton. Yeah, I mean, Luton have got the big, the bad thing for them is they've got nine players out now. Mm. And that, for a club like Luton, who haven't got a big Yeah, squad, that was always going to be the issue, wasn't that it? Is a, it's a killer, isn't it? They go to Spurs next time out. Mm. Then they've got Arsenal away, uh, Bournemouth at home, City away, Brentford at home, Wolves away, Everton at home, West Ham away, Fulham at home. So they're not on a good run, and they've got certainly mm. kind of like three of their next four are very tough games for them. Mm. Oh, they got, but they've got the right. We spoke, we spoke about this, haven't we? They've got the right attitude, and they do keep on. There is a difference between them and and obviously like the likes of Burnley, Sheffield United, because they don't look lost. Mm. Like you look at Sheffield United, and they look lost. Yeah, and every yeah. time they pick up points, you go. Like, even when Sheffield United went to Bournemouth, they got a 2-2. They were 2-0 up. Mm. So they've been pegged back to 2-2 and have dropped points in it. So it looks like you've... It looks like you, you're continually losing out. Whereas Luton, look, even though they went 3-0 up and end up getting beat 4-3, there's a, you you know in your head the reason the reason they lost 4-3 is the reason they were 3-0 up. They have that attitude about them. And until that sort of gets beaten out of them... Um, which I hope happens the sooner sooner rather than later. Um, you still have to... threat. Well, you know, I can see clearly now, Sam. I know, I know, I know. Which, he knows the danger. Know which one of them to go after. Um, now that, that you know, until that goes, and that might go if if they start losing players or it, whatever, whatever the situation, or because they're not, because they've not been dragged. I mean, let's be honest. If Forest get that point deduction, they're out the bottom three. Mm. So that's. The, the, I mean, it's not. They're not lost. They've are won they? one game, which is the Brighton game, yeah. in four eight. 10. It's live match. Yeah. 10. <laughs> 11. They won one in 11. And yet, could be out the bottom three because, this week. Because they won two on the run in two, in two yeah. games. And and mm. that, and they still have that, like, yeah. you know, that, that air of them. And I, you know, you, the, the, the legalizing in the last minute of a game and mm. everyone goes, they're still in it. They've still yeah, got yeah. that fight. They've stopped yeah. Forrest from getting away from them. And it, it is that thing that everyone still looks at. And then, then but then again, that, that tells you, what the bottom of the table's like. No one's really winning. So therefore, you know, when somebody wins, it's a big deal. And, and um, you know, it's it's still very, very open. Forrest just looked think... all over the place ahead, at the weekend. But go ahead, Sam. Where do you think Barkley goes after this season? Because he's he, he's had a really good season, hasn't he? And, he, mm. it's, you know, he's, his career's kind of not really panned out how he planned it, I suppose, when he was at Everton and moves to Chelsea. But he, he seems to be kind of building... Building his reputation back up with, with mm. you know, consistent performances. Where he 
Where do you think his future lies if he doesn't stay with Luton after the season? Good to scenario. I'd have him. I'd, I, I said this in the summer, Sam, when he was free. He was a no-brainer for me in the summer. For the simple reason that he can play a couple of positions. He can play as a as a number eight in Everton's midfield and he can play where the core he plays. Because, you know, he's hit again at the weekend. He, he's hit one from 25 yards, which is at the post with his left foot. He strikes it with the right. He travels with the ball. None of our players do this. He would, you know, and again, I understand that there's a section of Evertonians that wouldn't want him. But I look at him, he's 30, so again... You know, he's, I don't think he'd be commanding huge wages because he's on. I don't think he's on that much at Luton. Um, and for if, because by all accounts he's going to be a free transfer, but I, I don't know the ins and outs of that of that contract. But if he was a free transfer again, mm. I mean, Ped, wouldn't you? Would you have him for I'd a two-year deal? A, I think he's a. I think he's a really good player mm. who, because he's not maybe what people thought he was going to be, and never quite hit that top level. Um, doesn't mean he's he's not a good player. He's a good player. We've seen it. Um, whether someone else takes a risk on him, I don't know. If you're going to take a risk on him, like a top club, you've got to play him. That's the only way you're going to get the, anything out of him is by he's got to play. Mm. Um, because I thought even at Chelsea you saw flashes of brilliance in there mm. now and again. Um, uh, so it'll be would be interesting. It would. It he's would... played twenty four Premier League games, got four goals and three assists from yeah, centre I mean, of the park from for the for, for Luton. Luton. For Luton, so there's a player in there. Um, I've just got a feeling that wherever David Moyes is next season, Ross Barkley will be there. Really? Yeah, yeah. I do. I've got to just, I just think for, he, that he's that kind of player. He, he, he fits that perfect player that Moyes always used to get when he was at Everton. Mm. Those those players yeah. who lost, who were, were talented, but they'd lost their way somewhere and didn't f- quite fit one of the big clubs. I was surprised, actually, that West Ham didn't go for him this season. But I think now that he's had a season in the Premier League, I wouldn't be surprised that, you know, if he stayed at West Ham, that he went to West Ham or if he went somewhere else, he, you know, Moyes might earmark him because I, I, think, I think he's that kind of player. What about you, Sam? I'd take him back definitely because mm. even when he was at Everton, I mean, I wasn't one of the leave when he left. Obviously, there was all sorts of kind of controversy about the manner in which he left. But he was one of those players, and he's still one of those players that he's always looking to get forward, isn't he? He's always looking to drive the ball forward in one way or another. He's, mm. and, you know, a lot of the time recently we've seen just our team set up with a, a certain amount of. Patience is the wrong word because it's not like we're playing patience. We're just playing very cautiously and not really driving at the opponent. Mm. And the, the, what I used to love about watching Everton in the uh, the, the Moyes kind of tenure was that the, the periods of pressure we'd have on opposing teams, especially at Goodison, we just have them pinned into their in, in their defensive third, and we just we might not be creating loads of chances, but we'd be winning the second balls all the time. We'd get in the possession back and we'd be driving forward at them again. And if you do that consistently, you can see that at the end of games, you know, the last 20 minutes, you just, you, you force them into a mistake in the end. So he, uh, he's one of those players, I think, that just, he sort of, he, he, he turns the team into a slightly more, uh, you know, gives it that much more progressive edge. Mm. Um, and I think he'd, he'd fit, he'd fit well back a good or something. I think, you know, it would be a small minority, wouldn't it? He'd just yeah. really take to him. But look, if we can take Rooney back after the way he left, <laughs> You take Barkley back. I think yeah. as well, it like I he almost would suit a tight type of midfielder. I think because he's he's big six. Nobody's well, well. Yeah, I don't know whether we should get onto that or not. But you know, six foot over six foot, powerful right foot, left foot. He, he's absolutely a player that we just don't have. No. You know, we spoke about like we have literally two players who play in the same position: Onana and Garner. Mm. James Garner, that is. And then you have the core ahead of him who yeah. doesn't pick the ball up and run with it. No. So Everton are massively missing a play like this. And mm-hmm. you know what? I'll be honest. If ninety nine percent of Everton fans said they didn't want him back, I'm listening to the one percent. Mm. And that's that's just the way it is because he he is a good player. And whatever's happened has happened. It's it's John twenty eight grand a week. People do things all the, you know in football all the time. Mm. Um, people hear one side of the story, the story the football club wants you to hear. Mm. We all know that. We are, we knew that, you just mentioned the day with Wayne Rooney, people yeah. held a grudge for, with him for years because of the story that was peddled by mm. our football club about why, why he left. Um, and I'm sure 
I'm sure there's something similar in there with 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 Ross. What has he been? Has he been? Um, you know, silly some in some of maybe the some of the ways things have been done. Uh, yeah, probably. Mm. Listen to his agent, maybe. Probably. Shouldn't have done. Yeah. But also, you got a player here who was flying under Martinez. Cumin was like, prove you can prove you you deserve a new contract. Mm. And then suddenly, you know, he's like, well, no, I'll just. I'll go somewhere else actually then if if you don't actually want me and it's it that footballers have to make decisions for themselves at, at times not not football clubs you have to make decisions for the best but he, of them he wanted to sign any contract human drove the wedge between the in two in the end yeah in the end it's it's you know it, that's what's happened and mm. and I, I'd have him back because he's simply a much better player than we have that's and it. a different player like Sam said to what we have right now mm. and if you can get I mean let's let's be quite frank about it Sam is that we're not going to have a huge budget, are we? Let's be honest. So, if you can get a player who's on, he's on twenty eight grand a week apparently at Luton. So I don't know. I've Everton give him forty grand a week, fifty grand a week, but he's, you're not paying anything for him, and he signs a two year deal with an option, so you can have a look at it after two years. Then he he plays two. He can even play wide right. In fact, some of his best games for Cumin were on the right hand side, creating for Lukaku, weren't he? I think if you add him in your squad. I think he makes Everton better, and and I'm all for anyone who makes Everton better right now. Well, that's all. That's all we can try to achieve, isn't it? Because mm. with hands tied behind our back in terms of the transfer market, what we can spend, and mm. the, you know, ultimately these little petty grudges, which, as Ped very rightly outlines, that you know, Everton Football Club over the years have. I think that the kind phrase would be they've been an unreliable narrator, haven't they? Mm. In terms yeah. of the, What's you know, the reality the stories, that be, <laughs> mm. the stories that have been told uh, about departing players and, and department mm. managers and all of that sort of stuff. I, you know, I, I think I'm 45 now, so I'm, I'm way beyond, apart from during the 90 minutes, I'm way beyond kind of getting wound up about players leaving or kissing a yeah. badge and all of that. Because so, ultimately... It's great when you got a hero. You, they really love the club, but I just want eleven players on the pitch to be better than the eleven players we put out last time. And Ross Barkley is a is it's, it's a much more kind of sensible signing than because he's proven in the Premier League yeah. over many years and recently, as in this season. You know, he knows the city. He knows the club. <laughs> he's got um, a fast tag. Also, if you, if you look at like you know, some of the players that we have brought in, I mean, I don't I don't mean to pick apart any. He plays, but even someone like like a Jack Harrison, mm. he's kind of he's he's good in flashes, and then he sort of disappears, or he, he, you know he's wasteful with the ball. I think someone like Barkley comes and just just makes the team better, doesn't he? Mm. If you want to mm. put it in black and white, um, and if he's available on the cheap or on a free with limited wages, it just seems like a it seems like a no brainer. That's it. You just said it yourself. That's a, it's a really sensible signing. Mm. It does nothing like. There's nothing dramatic about it at all. No. Like the, you can put, you can blow it up and make it a, like a Daily Mail splash all you want, but it, mm. it there's nothing there that's mm. controversial. Player has good season in the Premier League in a position that we need to buy in, mm. and you go. The last thing is, well, who is he? Well, it's Ross Barkley. Mm. So what? Like, because literally, it's it, if, it, if 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 people are stupid enough to be put off by something that happened. Like five years, five or six, More, eight years ago. Eight years ago, is it now? Then they need to grow up. Low, this has happened. I, 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 I couldn't care less. Mm. I've heard the, I delete, heard the lies about Rooney. Heard the lies about Gary Speed. Mm. Heard, heard, you know, you know. There's been loads. There's been like, loads of them, hasn't there? And headlocks. Exactly. The club will. The player. We've seen it mm. loads of times. Mm. The players will always. See, not on documentaries and stuff where mm. players are like. I wanted to leave. I hated the club because of the manager or because of the co my contact situation mm -hmm. or something. And I was basically told that if I left, I had to just take the blame for mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And, you know, things happen where stories are written or stories go in certain newspapers to mm -hmm. make the fans kick off. And that's all. That's It's not just... It's Loads of clubs do that. You take the blame. If you want to move, mm -hmm. you take the blame. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's as simple as that. And... Fans just, certainly fans of our club should just look at the situation and go, mm, who should I really believe? Uh, yeah, exactly. Who should I really believe after everything that's gone on? 
who should I? Why be you, you know because because why would you want them back at our football club? Because they're a good footballer. Mm. It's as simple as that. Mm. You know, well, imagine I'm, someone. I'm go going. Ahead, Sam. I'm I'm going to do the big shop later, right? Yeah. And if I come <laughs> back with a big bag of shopping, like for the whole week, and my wife says, "Why have you bought turkey mince?" I'd be like, "Because we had it last week, and it was nice, and it's affordable, and we'll have it again." She'd have to go fair enough, and that's mm. that's Ross Barker. That's it. Turkey mince from Ross Barkley. You'd have thought. What if you nearly choked on that turkey mince though? Would you take would you take it out on them the following week? Would you make it personal? Uh, I put it too too more carefully. <laughs> mm. And that's it. And that's a good <laughs> that's a that's a good, good thing on life, yeah, isn't it? Basically, too yeah. More too carefully. more carefully. You know, tread carefully where turkey mince is concerned. Are you gonna quite that to Ross Barkley? Can't you? Why are you treading on turkey mince? Tread carefully, I said. It's just wasting it. Well, you know, it depends, doesn't it? It depends. So Ross Barkley liking to take him in. Fair play. Does a job. Affordable. What more do you want? Bernard Mallon's had his hands all over it. I don't know if that's true. But there you go. Was it Bernard Mallon? Bernard Matthews. Matthews. Bernard, Bernard Manning. Matthews. Bernard. Bernard Manning. Bernard what? Manning. <laughs> Bernard Manning. Bernard. On a Saturday. Bernard Bernard Matthews was Beautiful, being a man was yeah, yeah. weird, but I won't say anything. Racist. Yeah, yeah, horrible. <laughs> Miss, Mrs. Merton destroyed Racist, him. Racist, wasn't he? Yeah, Mrs. Merton. Mer- Mrs. Him. Merton destroyed him, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very much like his turkey mints of Bernard Matthews. Not his turkey mints, <laughs> Bernard Manning. Yeah. We've established that mm-hmm. Bernard Manning didn't have mm-hmm. turkey. Well, he might have had it, but he didn't certainly produce it or no. put his name to it. Yeah, it had to be very English and, and there you very go. white. There you go. <laughs> what do you want? White turkey <laughs> He did. Yeah, fair play. Fair play to him. Uh, I digress. You do digress, you do digress. Sam, what did you do at the weekend? Um, do you have any gigs? Uh, yeah, you? I had a gig. I was in Stoke on Friday night, and <sighs> the whole time I was there, all I could say was, can I, can I do it on a yeah. Friday yeah. night in Stoke? That was all and I could think you? of in bed. Could you and do it? It turns out I can. Yes. So it turns out I am an all-weather, all-location performer. So that was good. good. I, was, I was back home quite early, and then on Saturday... It was my wedding anniversary. Well, we went anniversary on Sunday, so Saturday after nice. the night off, we went for the meal. That was very nice. Sunday nice. woke up, wedding anniversary, and uh, me and my wife have been married for about a thousand years now, so we don't really do presents. I'll be but honest, we... Sam, I'll be honest, just let me jump in there. Married for about, come on, yeah. how long have you, you must know how long 12, you've been married for. 12 right, years. Okay, Sam, that's what you have to 12 say. 12 years of slave. So, okay. Um, we, we, we decided. I thought we had the conversation that oh. said we're not going to get presents. Oh, that, 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 that the conversation. Just... Yeah, that conversation. In your head. That conversation can be had on a loudspeaker in a shopping mall, <laughs> beamed live to the country. There'll be no proof of it on the no, day, though. No, no, no. What no, I would go no. with Sam is always get a backup, regardless. Mm. So you you've that's got the gift. Do in the yeah, I would, mate. Mm. I would. And that's why. What I found is turkey mints. I was going to say turkey, turkey mints. mints. A pound of it. A pound of turkey mints. A pound of it. Come on, love. It was tasty last week. <laughs> so what happened was on Sunday, I woke up and I was like, oh, no, I haven't got a card. And I saw she'd left a card on the side. So I said, oh, the kids need milk. So oh, I'll go and get some milk. Classic. So I went up to the, the little shop at the top, some milk, got a really substandard birthday card. Yeah. Come back home. I'm Why, are you, getting a bir- Why are you getting, you getting a, a birthday, birthday card? card? Oh, <laughs> that will get you in trouble. A birthday card on a wedding anniversary <laughs> will get you in trouble, Sam. Yeah. That shows you are unprepared. Yeah. Very much like a Roberto yeah. Martinez Everton team in pre-season. <laughs> yeah. Very much <laughs> undercooked. Like Turkey Mint. Sorry, it was an anniversary card, but it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't as poor as a birthday card on an no. anniversary, which would have been, you know, with like a bio dressed out. No, yeah. it was a genuine anniversary card, but it was pretty ropey. So yeah. I'm picking the kids' porridge, and I'm thinking, yeah. I need to just write this upstairs so she doesn't think I've just bought it. Of course. But, and I'll present it later on. Yeah. So I'm doing the porridge. I've got two bowls of porridge in the microwave. I'm upstairs. I hear the microwave beeping. Run downstairs, open the microwave, grab both bowls with my hands. Oh. Like, absolutely. Yeah. Pull them out, instantly go, Jesus, that's hot. Drop one of them. One of them hits the floor no. from quite a height. No. Lands perfectly, but all the porridge flies up. Honestly, oh. a bit went on my face. Oh it's, my there's God. still some on the ceiling now. I need to get the ladder out and, and clean it. It's, it's all dried. 
Oh, and obviously, okay. this gave the game away as to yeah. why I was so flustered. Yeah. She went, you haven't got a card off yet. And I was like wiping polish off my face right, going, have. sorry, love. <laughs> you should have said, of course I have. Yeah. I'll go and get it for you yeah. now. Like the back Can I just interject, right? Do you, ever drop, do you ever drop like a cup of tea or, or a cup or a bowl mm. and try and take the sting out of it with your foot? Always. Yeah. yeah. No, I always do. Always. I always do. I just want to well, not it. always. That sounds like I drop everything. No, no, clumsy, but no, no. If something yeah. ever falls, yeah. instantly accents the yeah, control I always, with your foot. I always can... football. No, no, no. I know. I know. I'm just, yeah. I just wanted to check other yeah. people did that. No, have you ever dropped a bit of tea and your cup's still full, but there's a lake? On the floor, mm. there's like <laughs> you go like that and think, whoa, and you catch it, yeah. and you go, well, that's all right. Yeah. Me, me, tea's still at an acceptable rim level. Yeah, and you look <laughs> down up there at the townhouse there, wasn't I? And I look down, and there's literally a lake. Mm. There's... It's a bar in town that you know rim level. Is it? No, yeah. oh. acceptable rim level. <laughs> One nil. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've great. often the great. Yeah, science. Yeah. Science does not apply. It's just when you trap a cup of tea with mm. your white traps on, it's obviously going to have, you know, negative consequences. Yeah, yeah. Consequences. But you've got to do that, haven't you? You've just got to soften the you've block. You've got to stop the cup. Have you got smacking. a kitchen floor that it will literally break no, anything, by the way? Fire. Literally break anything. Anything. anything to... you, if you drop a Honestly, glass, you clean up. You clear everything. Yeah. And there's still glass. Three months later, yeah. you find a bit of glass. Yeah. yeah. You go. I one? cleared everywhere. Yeah. How's this bit of... Yeah. And it's like a shard. It's proper shard. Shard. You can't say shard, you have to say shard. 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 Oh, this week God I name. nominate. This week I nominate Calorine and Shard. <laughs> Sorry, Craig. Um, but there you go. There you go. Reference the Craig kids. Phillips reference for the for the listen, ages. The way things are going at the moment, that reference will come back. Because everything's coming well, back, isn't it? Put it, on TikTok. Moment, put, it, put it on TikTok, it'll come back. And it'll be there. It'll be there. I've got a few would you rather's. Go on, what then. about this? Go on, what about this? Right. Would you rather be forced to listen to the same 10 songs on repeat for the rest of your life or watch the same five movies on repeat for the rest of your life? Let's go to Sam. Okay. I would probably go... Do we get to choose the songs in the movies? I imagine, yeah. I'd probably yeah, go you can choose them, would you? I think the songs would get really, really annoying after a while because even if you went for like a really long prog rock, mm. you know, random pink floyd track mm. it's gonna get boring after a while whereas i can watch yeah. the same five movies again and again and don't even yeah. have to be good movies i remember yeah. when i was a kid constantly watching team wolf on repeat absolutely i'm with it's you a great movie no but i loved it mm. super can i ask, three, which is can I, can I ask you a question well. can i ask you a question about team Please. wolf right Please. are you aware of uh the final scene in team wolf in on when they've just won and everything goes in slow motion and there is a gentleman on the bleachers who um, gets his lad out. No. No. There you go. Is another reason to watch it, Sam. Another reason well, to go. watch it. Are we sure that's in the real I team? In the real. Not at the very, very end. Version. It all, they're, they're just won. <laughs> just gone. I'm not being team wolf. And everyone's like, shut up your tit. Wolf up. They're, they're, they're in the script. Scared. This is Listen script. to your tit. Wolf up. Wolf out. Wolf in. Wolf Alice. Whatever it is. They say he says do it. He's like, no, I'm gonna win this as a five foot three little white guy hmm? with terrible hair. And they go, Sam, that'll have no <laughs> ramifications. Never. They win it, even though again they've got a fellow who clearly could die on the court. That he's he's that morbidly obese. Yeah. They still win, and at the end they're all celebrating. He rejects the unbelievably hot uh, yeah. female hmm? for the unbelievably Standard. tomboyish girl. Fair <laughs> play to him. Whatever rings his bell. And then brush behind them, fella just casually pulls really? pulls down his jeans and and and, and gets his <laughs> me and two veg out. No, uh, honestly, I can honestly say I've never ever noticed that. Me, go for it, go for Why it. Why have they left it in there? I don't know. I don't know. Seems a bit well, creepy. Seems but, a bit creepy. Well, but that's the beauty of films. You can always find something new in them. Mm, apparently so. Go on. What are your other films, Sam? <laughs> I don't know, there was that one, which has now got a massive yeah. red flag above it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. huge red flag. That as well, but <laughs> no, I'm don't show the kids. Yeah. yeah. Show the kids that. Um, Superman 3, I used to watch all the time when I was a oh. kid. Obviously, Back to the Future, the first one. Yeah. Just Michael J. Fox seems to be, yeah. you know, very, very popular in my house. Yeah. But then there's like other films, like, really, like, you know, films that are twisted at the end. If you watch them knowing the twist, you yeah. can then... 
kind of put the pieces together. And yeah, you can that. see more stuff, mm-hmm. can't you, in the film? Because you can yeah. see when films have got a good twist, you can go back and go, ah, look, it's there. It's in plain sight earlier on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can watch, honest to God, there's some films that I can watch. Well, there's a lot of films I can watch where I can start them at any point. And you're all right. And just watch 10 minutes of it and just go, I'm happy with that. Because I know, after I, know that, I know everything about it. Like the them. US office, if they could give yeah. me that, I could, well, I'd finish that and start it again because yeah. it's amazing. Um, but for me, it would be, yeah. I'd probably watch this into the music because well, I, yeah. I need new films all the time. It's me. It's yeah, literally yeah, yeah. my passion. Sure thing, yeah. Uh, 13, uh, 13. Would you rather lose the ability to cry or cry every day for 20 minutes randomly? So not be able to cry. <laughs> imagine it. Imagine it just burst out tears for 20 minutes. So never cry ever again. And I imagine a lot of men will probably yeah. go, yeah, I'm not asked about crying ever. Or just burst let me, into tears. Let me, be can a bit I, awkward for Can us. I just... We're all, come this. on, you know, we're all encouraged to talk more. Of course. Aren't we? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I hand on half find it so much... I will... Bad things will happen and I'm just like terrible that right give me a sporting drama film and oh i'm cry. in buckets i'm in buckets at the end mm. they've just they've just won the yeah. co- little college plucky college mm. team have just won the big game and i'm in floods of tears fella honestly just, a lad out no, on the fella, no, on no, a no fella ball ball. Get his lad out. yeah buckets. honestly honestly <laughs> any sporting drama you know what i mean that i'm just like oh gone. my god there's little tears in there honestly feel the dreams yeah, i watched like, it the other night and i'm just like yeah that's it's the... his dad yeah i mean that's an emotional catch. connection though isn't uh, it? he died here yeah. i was like shan he was dead big deal go on I would, I would i would probably choose i mean like crying randomly at 20 minutes in the yeah middle of the day could, you could be in the middle of a yeah, it could be doing work with, with your lover. Yeah, then you start. Yeah. You know, it's all mm-hmm. a bit weird. I got it Never from the garage out. for you, love. <laughs> <laughs> the garage forecourt <laughs> with the flowers. <laughs> These roses are from the Asda. <laughs> of the anniversary. But, but the perversely <laughs> crying after a good sob. Yeah, I don't cry that often. Mm. But when mm. I do. You feel amazing afterwards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's great because I think chemicals come out of the tear ducts and all sorts. Yeah, like, yeah. You know when you've got a hangover and you puke up and for about yeah. five minutes after puking, you, you go, feel amazing. You're yeah. getting the gym, your gym kit ready, you're going to mm. hit the treadmill and then you feel sick. Obviously. Yeah, but obviously. It's it's kind of cathartic, isn't it? To just mm. have a little sob. Yeah, but not not randomly though. Imagine if you were on randomly stage different. and you just, you just went... <laughs> so what would you go for then? The non-random one. Never so crying. never crying ever yeah. again. Okay. Good if you could book it in. Like every yeah, day. Yeah, if you could like schedule the, like the, the tears. Yeah. But that is clap- yeah, but that only lasted three weeks. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, but the random takes that away, don't it? Yeah. All right. Would you rather your only mode of transportation be a donkey or a giraffe? <laughs> uh, uh, I'd say a donkey just for storage. You're not getting okay. a giraffe in the shed, are you? No. no, I'm not saying you should put a donkey in your shed. No, but no. well, unless it's Ned's shed because he couldn't get in the house. Could he? <laughs> he couldn't get in the house. If it was Is Ned's it really shed. a shed? Not really. Well, I don't know. That's for a, That's a different, different day. show, isn't it? Um, yeah. Donkeys have got yeah. Bet well, you've, if you've got a barn, and who knows, maybe the son of God will just you know come round and go. Knows. There's a donkey there, mm-hmm. lad. Let's let's sleep over there. Yeah, you aren't getting the son of God coming around if you've got a giraffe, are you? Unless that's know. in another book. Unless that's a different book. Yeah. That's a different off a different animal. You know what I mean? What, what are you going different for? Dog. So you're going for a donkey. What are you going for, Sam? I'll go giraffe just because I, I feel like that neck needs climbing. Mm. I'd love yeah. to just sort of shimmy up. Mm. With a like little, a lamppost. Little cushion. Yeah. Like a lamppost, but a bit like a helter skelter as well. Like mm. a little yeah. cushion. And then just slide, slide down. down. Yeah. With and the graceful mm. aren't they, giraffe? I mean, that's a hard ass on the, the giraffe. Graceful. I'm not, no, I'm not being might like funny, that. but... You I'll might be able to get away with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. But Sam's not getting away with climbing a giraffe. I'm sorry, he's not. Okay. You may be. All right. Ned even more so with him being the smallest boy in the room. Mm, maybe. Um, like little Pinocchio over there. Mm. Um, I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. Um, mm. And he, yeah, hands go where they shouldn't. <laughs> but, yeah, it's definitely a donkey. Giraffes are quite vicious as well. I saw a video of a giraffe kicking a, a lion's head in. Like with well, the back legs, just kind because of the out. lion tried to get up the neck and funny. slide down it as the helter skelter. <laughs> being funny, town gets worse every week. Yeah, yeah, town is bad. <laughs> town is bad. Would you rather be able to control animals or see into the future? 
um, control animals for me. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I see into the future, I, my personality would mean that if I saw something terrible, I'd fixate mm. on that. And if I saw yeah. something great, I'd be convinced that that wouldn't really happen. Yeah. <laughs> That's just being an Evertonian. It's spoilers, like... isn't it? If you yeah. can see into the future, it's proper spoilers. Do you know what I mean? At least yeah. if you can control the, at least if you can control the animals, then it would just be. Bit, you could make the world a better place. That yeah. is, yeah. yeah. You could, you know, it's great to just be walking through town, wouldn't it? With like, you know, a, a lion, fox behind you, a donkey. A, you got the giraffe behind you. Why then... are you picking shit animals? You walk into town and you have a pack of wolves, some lions, a couple of tigers, and you go, "I'm what lad? Get to the, go and, into and the then you just go. Go into the Mackies. No, you go into the Mackies and you go, what, lad? The, the milkshake machine's off? No, I don't think it is, mate. I don't think it is. Get it back up now. Why? Because you've got a lion in Tony, it. Tony. Tony the Tiger's just Tony's sat there. Tony's on the bounce. Fair play. They, they're, switching that ma- they're switching that milkshake machine back on straight away. Simple as that. <laughs> With a couple of Tigers. Oh, it's 10.31 and I can't get a breakfast. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And All a right, the f- swoops down. That's, that's right. Hang on, that's a pterodactyl. You've gone from donkeys to a pterodactyl. My God, my God. <laughs> um, all right, the last one for this week. Would you rather go a year with no eyelashes or a year with no eyebrows? Well, what the lashes actually do? Did they prevent me from putting my contact lenses mm. in? So, but mm. but what is it about? What is it about eyebrows that make you seem like... You look like an alien. You look like an alien. Yeah, you look like you're in cocoon. You're a completely different person. Like, you know, without sounding like a horrible person here, you know, for Sam, eyebrows are hugely important. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Without them, he looks like a freak. I think everyone (laughs) does. Listen, I've said this before. I went to a party when I was 15 or 16 and there may have been some alcohol consumed. Mm. And I, you, I went to sleep. Yeah. And I was asleep on my side and some knobhead shaved my eyebrow. Very much. And apparently when I finished I turned over so they shaved the other one. So I did look like I was in cocoon. I did have to use mascara for a, a little bit on what was just to try and get because you cannot underestimate no. how Power. different your face looks Power with no eyebrows. eyebrows. Yeah. If it's I was going terrible. to the dragons then, it all, whatever I was pitching would be for eyebrows. They're that important. Mm. Hey, has anyone ever gone in and pitched eyebrow stuff? They must have done, surely. No, not to my recollection. I've watched every single episode. Have you? Yeah, every single there one. There you go. Fair play. Fair play. From Sam, Ballantyne, what are you going for? From Ballantyne. To, to Neville. Bartlett, to oh, Neville. to Neville. Yeah. Fair play. I'm going, I'm going eyelashes <laughs> as well. Go on. So go on, Sam. You can have the final say. Well, I, I can't disagree with Ed's, um, you know, very honest and frank assessment of my face but i mm. would look like a i mean i look a bit odd anyway but like with that demo away i've just got nothing i've got no you yeah. know there's nothing going on there so i'd, I'd have to keep mm. my eyebrows but it's amazing how long it takes eyebrows to grow back as you know mm. Baz, if mm. someone shaves them off yeah. we all yeah. shave these literally 17 like 11s in our eyebrows i'm thinking they grow back like a beard they grow mm. back in three days it was about six I, weeks after that yeah how is it how, marks. Yeah. that's it isn't it how is it you have your eyebrows if you shave them off they take like a generation to come back. Mm. And yeah, as you get older, the hair in your ears grows by the hour. It's literally sprouting out. <laughs> What's going on there? Do you, need, you need to go to a Turkish barber. Is, listen, I think you are bra- a bra- Like a man, a man in your position normally will, would have grown a beard by now. So I think you, you, mm. you're doing well, mate. You're doing well. I, 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 I sort it's of suits. toy with the beard, but I, mm. I just look a bit homeless when it gets beyond about five, six days. So then I go completely, mm. you know, clean shaven, and then I've got nothing. If I didn't have eyebrows, just the scent of my face. Yeah. I think I'd be Fair really place, yeah. Would you miss his fume if you had the beard? Does she not like it either? She just wouldn't come near me. Yeah. So, so fair play it's to you, handy mate. sometimes to just, to just grow it if you just want a bit of time alone. Just change your face, but there's not much well, you can do, which is why I think it'd be great if Botox and fillers like develop to the point where we can have Star Trek style mm. implants in our heads. Yeah, because for people with no hair, we mm. need options. Give us like a funky nose or a yeah, you know, a cling on head. You could get that hair though that you see, couldn't you? Mm. The, where they glue it on. Yeah, it looks that amazing. That one I sent you the other it's day. It's amazing, unbelievable. It's amazing. You literally go the glue yeah. like a big thick. Wig on your head, and they shave it all. It, mm. and you, mate, you could look. It looks amazing. 
You could look no six. M- the- no, that doesn't matter. You could look six. M- Someone it, could it be like, doesn't something matter. Di- something different about Sam. Stop. Sam ah, looks a bit different. Thing. Ah, you've done something with your eyebrows. Yeah. You've you had your eyebrows shaped. You've had them tinted. <laughs> That's what it is. Tattooed. You've had them tinted. You've had the eyebrows tattooed on. Mm-hmm. I have got this one particular hat, and when I wear it, it leaves like loads of little residue of wool on my head, so it looks like I've had really cheap plugs done. So I have to make sure when I wear that hat to take it off, and I've got to <laughs> spend ages like plucking off. Do you know what it is, though, Sam? Know what it is for for your eyebrows? I've heard and for your hair, mm. power bars and Lucas Aid. That's the thing. They're, they're, that's that, the mix. That and b- vitamin B12. But there you go. It's all good. Get all that down your neck, Sam. You'll come on next week. <laughs> With full grown locks. I'll be like one of those eggs that you grow cress out of <laughs> next week. I'll have all this like the assignment growth. you get in, in reception. We're gonna have the egg <laughs> with the kids always have to come home with the egg and put like things Sam on is it. basically a twenty first century Tamagotchi. Maybe. Maybe. That's what I am, which is the, the lesser known T Rex song. But um <laughs> if I come on next week if I come on next week with hair. Yeah. Do us a favour, yeah. don't reference it. We won't, no, we won't, no. Of course. Yeah, and then, what you choose to do with your beauty products or yeah. your personal grooming has got nothing to do with us, mate. You do, yeah. you do you, you do Sam. You. And we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. <laughs> right, no let's judgments. leave it. Let's, no, no, there's no judgments here. Only if you have white turkey mints. Right, let's leave it here. Thank you very much for everyone who's listened. Give it a like, subscribe, give it a five-star review, all of that stuff. Follow Big Sam, not Big Sam. <laughs> follow Sam Avery, not Big Sam. Well, follow Big Sam if you want. I'm not telling you what to do. But uh, we'll be back next week. See you later. Bye.